Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Clio denial and we'll be showing you how I made this sweater, the face up, and a little bag I made to go with the costume. So this is the Patreon doll of the month for November. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a site where you can support artists in exchange for rewards. And there are different price levels for different rewards. And one of my price levels or tiers is the doll of the month. If you're in the US, the doll is $75 per month and international is just a bit more because of shipping. So this is the doll that I did for my November patron doll of the month. And I just love having it set up this way because it gives me an opportunity to use my creativity to create some unique dolls and practice my art skills where, while allowing patrons to purchase a doll at a super low price. So while the patrons at this tier will not be able to choose what doll they want, it'll be a surprise but it seems to turn out to be some of my most uh, favorite work because it allows me to use my creativity so freely. So like I said, I'm using a Clio Denial and I'm making sort of a fall theme. So the last Patreon Doll of the Month video, I did a, a survey to see what kind of doll you guys thought that I should make for the, the November doll. And the voting came out to be a fall theme doll so all I could think of when I was thinking of a fall theme was like leaves and all of the fall colors but then I as the weather started getting cooler I started thinking about all of the um, clothes for that I was pulling out for my fall uh, for fall clothes and it just made me feel like I wanted to do something like a little cozy outfit to just I'm, I was just picturing a little doll with a little hot chocolate and earmuffs and just getting ready for winter so um, so that's my take on fall theme so I made her a little uh, fleece sweater and gave her some black leggings and I made a little purse which you'll see me make at the end of this video and then the wig that I used is a really beautiful red synthetic fiber wig and I just really enjoyed making that one with the that beautiful red color and then I gave her some dark roots I just love how it turned out and I have just a very little bit of that color left so I'm gonna preserve it for a very special doll and I was asked in a, one of my Instagram posts if I could tell somebody where I got the wig and the or the hair color and unfortunately I don't have that it was gifted to me and I don't have the information of where it was received or where it was purchased so I'm sorry about that if I do find out I will put it in the description box below so I thought I would do her makeup in a sort of a fall uh, color scheme to match the hair and the costume so I'm starting out with some highlighting and um, some blush and then giving her some contouring and I go in with uh, some some black pan pastel shimmer the the pearlescent pan pastel black and blend it out with some colorless blender to give her sort of a smoky eye and then I also go over that smoky eye with some uh, Rembrandt like a wine color uh, pan or pastel and then I'll use some of this pearl FX uh, shimmer powder to blend that out so it gives it a real almost the color of the hair just a dark red blush color and blending that all out it's funny I used to not enjoy working on Cleo because of her sort of cat eyes um, but I kind of go against that and pull the outer corners down a little bit just to give her more of a round eye and I really like how it turns out but I've never really been drawn to the cat eye look let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys like that look where the eye outer corner of the eye slants up never really cared much to do that with my dolls but maybe someday I will push myself to um, give it a try I usually liked a more round or almond shaped eye so I haven't done like that cat eye look before I've seen some other artists do it and I think they're they're pretty cool how they turn out but mine are much different I think 
so I'll push myself to do something different at some point. I'll do do a cat eye, but that's kind of why I didn't like Cleo in the in the past because of the eye. I just wasn't. It just didn't fit my style, I guess. So I'm giving her a sort of a turquoise, greenish blue eye color, and I used a Crimson Lake Derwent watercolor pencil. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm using the Museum Aqua Well by Karen Dosh for the in, inner dark red that I'm doing just to give some interest, adds a little bit of interest to the eye color since I didn't want to do just a plain blue. So like I said, I'm making that a little more turquoise looking. And then giving her some pupils using the black Derwent watercolor pencil. Giving, pulling out some black from the pupil to add some lines there and using a peach color Derwent watercolor pencil for the highlight on the upper lip or Cupid's bow. And then in a little bit I'm going to smoke out the eye a little bit more and you can see when I add that extra smokiness to the upper lid it really makes the eyes pop a little bit better give her some bottom lashes and then I'll add some highlights and I added some gloss to the eyes so normally this is what I would do for a doll of the month I would just give her a simple costume but I went to the the extra mile with this one I just really felt like she needed some something different so I gave her the earmuffs and then I still felt like she was missing a little something so I made this little bag I just made a really simple little bag using some of this uh, hem tape it's just this tape that you kind of iron on and I used my mini flat iron to heat that up so that it just gives a nice little hem and then stitch up the sides. So it's just really a rectangle. I folded in half and, and hemmed up the outer corner or outer edges. Turned it inside out. And then I also got some ribbon for the strap and I folded it in half and used that same hem tape and my flat iron to uh, make a, th a thinner strap for the, the bag. So it's just a crossbody bag that I wanted to make for her. And I thought that plaid fabric was pretty and matched the costume overall. So she's kind of simple, but I just thought it was a nice little fall look that reminded me of some of the clothes that I tend to wear during the season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.